northern Mindanao continues to empower the people through timely, accurate, and relevant information. A total of 333 news releases and 309 photo releases were produced during the third quarter. Of these number, 328 news release and 183 photo release were published in Sunstar Cagayan de Oro, Mindanao Gold Star Daily, Mindanao Daily News, Business Week Mindanao, and Katarungan News Weekly. PIA10 also produced 28 video news reports. 25 of these video reports were aired on PTV and PNA Newsroom. PIA radio programs also continue to broadcast on air. A total of 24 episodes were produced and aired in Lambo Diaz, Angri Hunkaron, and KBP Interaction. Moreover, 13 episodes of our Norman Danau TV program were aired over Parasite Cable TV for free. PIA 10 conducted 14 Talakayan sa PIA in partnership with two SMOs in Cagayan de Oro, SMCD Odanton Premier, and SMCD Cagayan de Oro. The region also facilitated and moderated press conferences by other government agencies. PIA 10 maintains one regional Facebook page and six provincial pages. It also manages the Task Force Bawan Marawi and RTF Al 10 Facebook pages. As of September 30, total likes for all PIA 10 Facebook pages garnered 108,884 likes, while it reached an average of 1,111,818 audience per month during the quarter. Two Twitter accounts were also maintained, one regional and one TFPM. Both accounts gained a total of 2,687 followers as of September 30. PIA 10 produced 97 original videos, while 198 videos from other agencies were also posted and shared through our social media pages. These videos were able to get an average of 212,654 views during the period. Region 10 also continues to provide information through text blast powered by smart communications. For this quarter, a total of 84 text messages were blasted to 1,500 recipients. PIA 10 continues to monitor issues and events on the ground to facilitate the messaging of our activities. For the quarter, a total of 600 situation reports were submitted and posted in Viber groups. 66 issues and monitoring reports were also submitted to central office on a daily basis. PAA 10 staff also assisted the agency's research division in conducting post-SANA survey. The national line agencies as well as the local government units come and seek support of PAA in disseminating their projects and accomplishments to the public. Moreover, PAA 10 staff participated in 25 interagency and council meetings. With the support provided, Region 10 has received awards and plaques as proof of its contribution to the promotion of government programs and services. PIA 10 has been maintaining strong ties with the Regional Association of Government Communicators, or RAGCOM, for the past years and has done several activities together. PIA 10 also provided technical assistance through various trainings and seminars to enhance the communication skills of fellow communicators in the region. For the quarter, PAA staff became resource speakers for communications trainings and seminars organized by the National Food Authority, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Police Regional Office, Provincial Government of Lana del Sur, and National Grid Corporation of the Philippines. As a representative of the PCOO, PAA 10 has played a very active role in leading the Strategic Communication Task Group of RTF LCA. Aside from the regular production of news releases, video documentary, and other social media contents, PIA 10 made sure that the government's campaign against communist insurgency is popularized among stakeholders. PIA 10 also facilitated the publicity of major RTF Algak events such as the Servicio Caravan para sa Sona, Dagyao 2019, Peace and Culture Colloquium, Provincial Launching and Servicio Caravan in Barangay Yurika in Hinoog, Misamis Oriental, and Barangay Beruar in Tangkal, Lanao del Norte, and Mindanao RTF Alcac Summit. PIA Northern Mindanao, empowering the Filipino people through grassroots communication. <music>